Hi, and welcome to this edition of the AQS Vendors and Deals Show. I'm your host, Tamara Haynes. Today, we will be visiting with Lori Allison from All About Color, Bobby Burquist from Quilter's Treasure, and Ann Winchell from Nine Patch Fabrics. Our first guest today is Lori and Ann from All About Color. Welcome, Lori. Thank you. And Ann? We're Hello. so excited. Hi. You got to move into the screen. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Ann. We're so excited to have you joining us since we have missed your beautiful booth at all of the quilt shows. So glad we can visit this way. Thank you. I'm happy to be able to reach the AQS audience this way. Absolutely. So why don't we hop right in and you tell us about your quilts and your vendor special offers that you have going. Thank you. Well, we're going to start with um, a very golden, golden days. And that is a Jen Kingwell pattern. We are going to do it as a block of the month, most likely um, six or eight months, depending on how we break it out. But you'll see it behind me. And um, Anne, who you met, is my famous hand piecer. She is um, amazing. Um, so we'll do it in five months of, is it five? Yes, five months of strips. And then we'll have a sixth month and maybe a seventh month for a border, it looks like. But a very golden, golden days in all uh, five shades of yellow and all Cape Bassett um, fabrics on top. And we. We worked hard to get the new fabrics and to get it balanced. And how many did you I, have to rip out? Yeah, I changed a few along the way. And that's one of the nice things about Lori's uh, kits and the block of the months is that we in always include a tip sheet. And it's uh, valuable information that I learned along <laughs> the way that I want to share with you so that you can uh, just buzz through these without any difficulty. And we did mostly hand piecing, but where you can machine piece will include that as well. And as you know, Jen Kingwell is the queen of hand piecing, but we're very excited to get that off the ground. To get started, um, I don't have all the prices laid out, but the pattern to begin with, with the templates is close to 200 with templates. So um, if, generally, if you have to ask the price, you don't want to know, <laughs> but um, it's going to be a lot of fun and a good winter project. Next up, Tamara, is uh, Paradise of Birds, and Anne's going to help me fold a hold. And this one is our, our um, straight up applique this year, and that kit is still available. It's on a grunge background, and it has 68 different Cape Bassett fabrics to make all these cute little birds. And that part is a lot of fun. It's a 10 or 11 inch block, so it's easy to take with you once it's prepped. And it's a beautiful, beautiful composition. Everything that you need is in that kit, including um, acrylic cutting templates that I had made for it, freezer paper foundations for things that you make a lot of. Um, and once again, we worked out all the kinks in the tip sheet to make it easy for you to do. Next up is a newish quilt that we put together. So this is our citrus quilt. It's a, a broken kaleidoscope or hexagon with that fun uh, cave sunburst fabric in the middle. It is machine pieced, cut with templates, so it's easy and fast. And then there are freezer paper foundations for these hexagon centers, and they can be machine or hand applique on. And as if that wasn't bright and fun enough with all the citrus prints from the Cape Bassett Collective, we did luscious in that Cape Bassett luscious pink, orange, lime backing that just is delicious. Next up, this has been a good little, good little energizer bunny of a quilt. It is called Color Dive. It's an Anna Marie Horner pattern and uses five inch squares, I think. Um, all the fabrics are in the kit. They're in strips, so you just cut them down a little bit and cut your squares. You make some half square triangles. Great project if you're working on something with a grandkid or you want a simple project as a relief between things that have been more complicated. Uh, first you make the blooms. 
Dresden Plate Flowers. The pattern is Big Blooms by Wendy Williams from Australia. The kit includes the pattern, our tip sheet, our invaluable tip sheet, and um, all the fabrics that you see in this one right here. And it does have Cape Bassett's hydrangea spots as its background. Some people get it, think, thought it was white, but it's hydrangea spots, um, which is a lovely soft background for it. That is made with Dresden blocks, which are kind of fun to put together. We, um, we had some extras that we didn't necessarily use, but we make the, the Dresden around here and then put the border prints on it and then choose the center flower for it because you just never know what's going to work in that center. This is a, a, a popular Energizer bunny quilt press, mainly because it's very pretty, very fast, and very fun. It's Algorithm by Gudrun Erla, and it's in all of the sea glass colors, which we've got sun streaming in, so they look a little, a little uh, yellow in the sunlight but it's a very pretty cool colored quilt. It's been very popular, fast to put together and has a great geometric effect, doesn't it? You can really see that on the screen. Next up is Carnival Stars. Once again, a five inch square. We always, I do a color gradation because we like to use all the colors with Kona Cut and Snow White Stars. Makes a really cute quilt and very easy. And once again, I matched up some of Brandon's brocade for the back, which makes a really fun, interesting back. And we have that to go with it as well. Next up is one of our newer, our newer, older quilts. This is Candy Queen Cool in the blue colorway, which once again looks yellow in the sunlight, but is a gorgeous group of blues. Easy to make. Uh, the kit has, for the large one, has 52 different fabrics, so you get the right number of very lights, medium lights, very darks, and it self borders. I'll show you how that goes together. You do strip sets, and your strip sets, you'll, you'll put two of them together on top of each other. You'll sew a diagonal line down the middle, and there's your block. Pretty easy. Next up. Tiger lilies in a field. It's green and orange. It's a very simple little um, pattern called duet and goes together quickly. You take two strips and each two strips will make one block. It's like making a tiny quilt every time you make a block. So it's fast and fun to put together and easy. Another good project in between some hard ones or for a novice quilter. And we backed it with another fun tiddlywinks. This is from the uh, Quilts in the Cotswolds book by Kate Bassett. This is Autumn Chintz. It makes a large 72 by 90 quilt. It snowballs around a center medallion and one of his great uh, color stories. Been a popular quilt. We have a few kits left of this and they, this is our vendor special. They are $20 off. It's a nice big quilt. Gorgeous. What's the name? It is called Autumn Chintz. We have just a few kits left of, this is another Jen Kingwell. This was called Queen's Cross in the yellow, orange, red colorways. All the fabrics are in the kit. The pattern is in the kit and the pattern alone was $50. It has all the templates that you need. And this one is, there's a few kits left. It's time to retire the quilt and it is marked down $40. It was a $180 kit to begin with. It's now $139.95. And lastly, we have Chartreuse Baskets. This is also from Quilts in the Cotswolds. We um, got a little bit creative with the center and we used little hexagon flowers, but those just stinking cute. And then because we'd done an earlier quilt with that little vine border in it, we created little three inch hexes for that border also. Um, and those instructions are also in the kit. This kit is marked down to $99.95 at uh, $20 off this kit. And it has our tip sheet and our adaptation in it. Last couple of things I wanna talk about is it's the Christmas season. So every now and then you need a gift for somebody. If they're a CAFE lover, we have gift certificates, 25, 50, 100, and 200. They can use them anytime they like. 
Um, if you're looking for a nice gift for yourself, the Cape Club means you get six half yards once a month and only the new ones and a great idea for using them. And we've got some really pretty upcoming fabric swatch combinations. So gift for yourself, gift for others. All about color quilting. Well, I would say, wow, Lori and Anne, thank you so much. What a, a visual adventure you just took us on. And thank you. And so many beautiful quilts. And I love the, the coordinating backs. And so all of those are sold separately, correct? Yes. Okay. You can buy the kit or you can buy the kit in the back. So they're on there twice. Well, ladies, thank you so much. Uh, quilters, be sure to go over to quiltweek.com and check out our vendor special offers and go to Lori and Ann's site, All About Color Quilting, to view all of these fabulous quilt kits and grab one for yourself. Our next guest today is Ann Winchell from Nine Patch Fabrics. Welcome back, Ann. Thank you, Tamara. It's great to be back. So we're excited to hear about your new uh, vendor special offer deal with your jelly rolls. So why don't you show us everything you have to offer? We're going to continue with the AQS 10 discount where you get 10% off site-wide and we're continuing to offer free shipping on orders of $50 or more and we're adding a discount on our jelly rolls. So all our jelly rolls, which suggested retail is $42.99, are now going to be on sale for $33.99. And in case you're unfamiliar with what a jelly roll is, it's where the manufacturer has coordinated the fabrics for you and maybe put a whole line in like this, where you'll get all the fabrics in a line or with the Moda, they've also done, this is like Moda solids and you can use these as a background, all these light colors are in it. And you can even get ones with all solid gray or other colors like that that you may want. Awesome. And do you have patterns on your website that people can use for jelly rolls? Yes. On our website, I've divided the patterns up by patterns that are jelly roll friendly, five inch square friendly, and 10 inch square friendly, along with fat quarter friendly. So then it's easy if you have a jelly roll and you don't know what to do with it, you just go to the website and see what patterns are available. Awesome. And all of those are 10% off as well. Yes. And Anne, you have some new fabrics to share with us today, right? Yes, I have the entire Zen Chic line of quotation by Brigitte Heitland. And her fabrics are fun, whimsical, and modern patterns. And this is actually a, not a reprint, but a, re, a, a second in the series of a line she came out with in 2012 that was called Comma, and then this one is called Quotation. So the first one I'll show you and each of these comes in a lot of different, in several different colorways. This first one, it's um, an airy floral print. And I just love these little wispy things. Mm -hmm. And again, there's like three, three to five different colorways in each one of these prints. And then this right here is the large print in it. This is quotation, I'm sorry, this is an asterisk in the quotation. And it comes in about five different colors. So, and then there's a check mark. So these are, you know, two of the colors in that. And then I really like, another one I really like, of course I love green. This is, um, a pistachio green that's in there and here's a black on white and this is kind of like an ellipse print so you see how it kind of swirls around and another one she she always includes a lot of times she includes words and this one is a striped word fabric you make for great binding i love striped bindings and it says it's all happy words like everything magic celebrate, enjoy, love, things like that along the rows. So I'll just show you this one is the plus signs in the, um, 
this orange is like a, a clementine orange. And it's got the darker clementine with the plus on it, which is in the lighter color. And then here it is in a black and white. And along with these, she has a dot fabric. Dots are these little dots. Dots are always popular and sometimes hard to find. So this is like a tiny pin dot. And there's about four or five different colors in this. I just thought I'd show you a black and white in that. And she also added some of her basic spotted series to it. So we've got those in coordinating fabrics. I believe there's 37 different fabrics in the line and we have them all. Well, those are some fun and whimsical fabrics from Brigitte and I'm sure there's lots of ideas on your website to take advantage and make a beautiful new quilt for spring. Yes. Thank you again, Anne, for joining us. We sure appreciate all the special deals that you are bringing to our quilting community and look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. I look forward to seeing you too. Our next guest today is Bobby Burquist from Quilter's Treasure. Welcome, Bobby. Thank you. It's so good to see you. You've been a long time personality in the quilting community. Uh, why don't you tell us about your uh, specials that you have going now for the quilters? Well, the special we have right now is all of our patterns, except for the sale patterns, are 20% off and 20% off any of the kits as well. And this will run through the duration of the show, of the weeks on uh, AQS. Okay. And uh, what I do is a technique is I do stained glass. And this is a very simple technique that anyone can do. I also have developed other techniques. One of them is called Celtic ink work. With that, I actually use Sukineko inks, both the pens and the liquid. The technique is so easy, anyone can do it. You can use quilt patterns, you can use uh, drawings, or you can actually use coloring books. And you draw it onto the fabric, we heat set it, and it makes it permanent so you can wash it. So now you can take your own designs and put them into your quilts. And it's also great for children because it's an easy technique that even children can do. If they're young, then you can always give them the fabric and let them design it. If they're a little older, after they design it, you can actually let them use that to make their very first quilt. And it's wonderful because they have instant gratification. The techniques I've developed also include Quilt As You Go, I have three different techniques. The first one tells you how to do the technique. The second one I created because if you cut fabric off of it, you shouldn't have cut off of it. It shows you how to put the fabric back that you shouldn't have cut off in the first place. And the third one actually tells you how to make a two-sided quilt, which is even easier than the first two techniques. Uh, we have other techniques that I've developed um, and it's fun for all and easy for everyone. So Bobby, do you have a lot of tutorials on your website that people can learn these different techniques that you've outlined? Yes, I do. Um, if you go on to YouTube, and the easiest way to find that is go to my website, and at the bottom of my website, you'll see the icon for YouTube. And I currently have four there, and I'm adding more to it so that it will expand the library for you. I also have a page on my uh, website it's called articles, and I post things there that I find to help new quilters. One is about thread, one is about batting, one is about um, needles, so that you understand the equipment that you're actually using. Well, I love the idea that you said about using the children's artwork and creating that, as it using that to create your quilt. What a great memory keeper. Do you have tutorials there as well for that? Those are the ones I'm working on because I don't have any small children. And right, right now you can import them. <laughs> but, um, no, it's, it's a very simple technique. And that's my whole purpose is teaching and sharing what I know and things I've developed. And I've taken difficult techniques and made them simple. I judge quilts all across the country. And I see all these beautiful things and artists have taken over textiles as their medium. And poor quilters look at them and they say, I can't do that. Well, I've taken a personal test task to actually take those techniques and simplify them so the average quilter can do them. I do artwork. I've done on Celtic um, creations, Celtic inspirations. I've actually done the artwork for you. You take and you trace that on your own fabric. You can blow it up if you want to. You can color it in. You can do it in ink. Do it any way you want. You put it in your quilt and now it's your design and you have the fabric you want, the color you want. 
our, go our motto is giving quilters an artist palette. And that's what we try to do. We have our own line of marble fabric. And this is all taken from a real piece of marble fabric that my husband, Joel, actually hand marbles. Then we have it commercially printed. The good news is the fabric is much less expensive that way. And the technique we use, you can actually use both sides of our fabric. So you have a lighter side, but the marbling does come through on the other side as well. Gotcha. Well, I can see that you have some beautiful quilts there in front of you. Why don't you show us some examples of what you've been speaking about? Okay, this one here is from Ravenwood Designs. Unfortunately, they're not in business anymore, but this is done taking their pattern and using our polyester braid. The braid that I use is, one, is no, two, no right or wrong side. So when you use one side, you glue it down, you flip it over, and there's a YouTube video that shows you how to do that. And it's very simple to do. From there, I've designed other things. We all have pets, if we're not allergic to them. Cats are done more by personality than they are by the actual design of it, except it's like a Siamese cat. So that's why I'm doing a second one on the dogs. We have it not only in black to do stained glass, but we have it in white and green. So if you're doing any applique, the green is great to do stems and vines. We don't have to make our own braid anymore. And all these flowers are actually white lead line that I've colored in using the Sukineko ink. And so I call this technique applique for cheaters <laughs> because you need a raw edge, you get the look of needlepoint, and everything is all reinforced. You can actually use these and wash them. This one here is an example of our Celtic design, and I use the green uh, red line on this one here. Unfortunately, I went through a fire last year, and many of my quilts got lost, but one that made of that one um, made it through the fire. I washed it. I soaked it in OxyClean for six hours, threw it in the wash machine on a heavy duty. It came out. The only problem I had was the fabric did not hold up. My lead line, there wasn't one single piece that was loose. Matter of fact, because I do quilt as you go, I took out the blocks that were damaged. I lifted off the design. I requilted it, washed those blocks, and put it and made the quilt and put it right back in there again and you can't tell the difference. So if it could last through a fire and machine washing and all that soaking. I also do Zentangle. I am a certified Zentangle instructor. And this is fun because you can take designs and you, after you've done your design, if you go onto my Pinterest page, which you just type in after the com slash Bergquist and then Bobby. And then you'll find, go to Zentangle, and currently I have over 12,000 pins in my library for you to research. They show you how to do it step-by-step, step, colors, and all the other things. I mentioned earlier about my Celtic ink work. This is actually a whole cloth piece that I've done the design. I have an 18-inch template that you place down. There's 20 patterns you pick from, and you do trace these on with mechanical pencil. Then you take and use the fabric pen to color the background fabric and it picks up the tone on tone fabric that you use. And this one I turned into a tote bag and I reduced the size and I made a pocket out of it. So it was very flexible, but this is one piece and it's machine washable. And this is one of the new series I have 20 new blocks coming out. This is another one of them, and they'll be out with it very shortly. And these are all done with only two different color pens. This is my Celtic Inspirations. Can you see that? We can. Um, something as detailed as the bird over here, and that's all done with one color. These, some of them have more than one color and have multiple colors. So it's priced, the kits are priced by how many pens you get. Now the beauty of the pens, the Fabrico pens, is that you don't have to worry about them drying out. As long as you recap them after you use them, store them horizontally in a cool dark place, they will not dry out. You'll use them till they're empty. So don't worry about that, just store them properly. And this one shows you how I just used the black ink on my links in the middle there. So there's so many different ways of doing it. 
You can do an outline like this, but these are the drawings that I've actually done for you that you can copy onto your fabric. You can blow them up if you wanna make a large quilt. You can put these on as smaller blocks and help you. So you, I've given you the artist palette. You don't have to be an artist to do what I do. Well, my goodness, you have offered us so many different options. And I love it that you might not necessarily be a quilter and you love to draw and you've got so many different creative outlets there and then can bring them into quilting. That's wonderful, Bobby. Well, also, I want to start on December 17th, Ask Quilter's Treasure. There's many of the po podcasts out there, and you see wonderful pictures and products that they're selling. But the one thing I found missing is to help new quilters or help quilters that have a question. I have been doing quilting for over 22 years. I've been teaching for over 19 years. I judge quilts. I manufacture my own line of fabric and the lead line. And so I have access to people all over the world that are talented. So what I want to do is have this one hour form. It'll be on uh, Tuesday, Thursday being, and it will be four o'clock East Coast time, one o'clock West Coast time. And you'll be able to go online and contact me. I'll answer your questions. If I don't have an answer for you, I will research it and hopefully the next week I will have it for you. I also plan on having guests on that if I find an interest of something that you want to see, I will contact one of my many friends in the industry. After 19 years, I've made a lot of wonderful friends and they're all very talented. And I can get them to come on with us and you can actually talk to the pros that are doing these different techniques. Well, sounds good. Well, Bobby, thank you so much for spending a few minutes with us. Quilters, I hope you've enjoyed this segment on the AQS Vendors and Deals Show. We hope you found some amazing inspiration and incredible deals to inspire your quilting. Until next time, happy quilting.